quantum powered players. Sorry. Though it may seem obvious okay, to a lot of people. So Can you tell me exactly what is the, the, uh, the quantum powered players? We're a community theater group that uh, come September will be celebrating 80 years as a community theater. Uh, we started back in the Wakefield YMCA okay. and uh, we've bought the house, the Chestnut Hill School in mm -hmm. Hopkins Street in 1950 and started okay. doing uh, costume building, set building, and then schlepping sure. to all the local <laughs> schools and theaters right. that were around, even the Princess Theater in Wakefield okay. Okay. that long ago. Um, and we turned it into a theater um, in 1960s and now we seat 150 people. Uh, we have wonderful seats that we brought in from a, a theater up in Salem, New Hampshire. Okay. We keep them up. We do four shows a year and one fundraiser every year. Okay. Uh, eight years ago, we put on a half million dollars of uh, wow. renovation. We have now accessible um, bathrooms. We have uh -huh. a lobby, which is amazing, and storage, which is a, not quite a blessing because we just fill it. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you can never have enough storage. Absolutely You're always not. filling it with more stuff. Absolutely not. What are some of the highlights from the past year, some of the shows that you've done? Well, we're just finishing this season with uh, My Old Lady by Israel Horowitz, who grew mm -hmm. up in Wakefield. Okay. Um, we started the show, the season, um, with a, a mystery, um, The Unexpected Guest by Agatha Christie. Oh, okay. um, we also did uh, a really fun show called Almost Main, which is a bunch of vignettes mm. from different places that was an off-Broadway success. Okay. And uh, just before this, we closed with A Midsummer Night's Dream, which oh. I directed, which Oh, the, terrific, fun. terrific. Love, love the Shakespeare. <laughs> That's love excellent. The... <laughs> um, so uh, who participates in, in, in the players? It's an open theater. Uh, people come down and audition. We have open auditions. We have a board of directors where members who have been around for at least two years and have paid their dues can vote. Okay. <laughs> uh, we run the Playhouse, which is probably our biggest mm -hmm. um, endeavor because it is a business at that level. Sure. Uh, we put on the four shows. We do a fundraiser to try to pay down the half a million okay. dollars we put on. Yeah, um, absolutely. And we're doing pretty well with it. The fundraiser uh, is every holiday season around okay. Thanksgiving we open up and we do all new shows that have something to do with the holiday. Hmm. A lot of times it's Christmas, but we've done Kwanzaa, Thanksgiving, okay. New Year's. Haven't got Easter yet, so looking for Easter. Okay, so it sounds like a lot going on. <laughs> Absolutely. Around Absolutely. the Playhouse and all that, and around with the Guana Powered players. So if someone were interested in, in uh, auditioning for a play, where would they find out information about that? Uh, we have a website. It's qptheater.com. We always put all our auditions up there. Come June, we'll be having auditions for the first show of our next season, ah. which will start in September. That's Laura. It's a wonderful mystery. Okay. And so the auditions will be in June. We also have uh, meetings um, about six times a year where we okay. invite anyone who wants to come and meet us and greet us and right. get involved. And anytime someone would like to uh, build a set, build a costume, I'm usher, sure. park cars, <laughs> all they have to do is Sell send a tickets, note. Whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever. We're always looking for volunteers. Oh, absolutely. So uh, you mentioned that Laura is the first play of the next season. Want to give us a hint on what's coming up in the next season? I'm going to have to use my cheat sheet. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's by uh, Vera Caspri and George Sikar, and that opens up on the 7th of October. It's going to be followed by The Porch by a local playwright named Jack Neary, and that okay. opens in January. Uh, and then we're doing what we're calling the first um, real Game of Thrones, The Lion in Winter, oh, okay. and that opens in March of next year. And then we're ending the season with uh, Vanya, Sonia, Masha, and Spike, which is a, uh, a kind of wicked comedy by Christopher Durang, who has a black sense of humor, but funny. Wow, so it sounds like a really active season We try up. to do a balance. <laughs> yeah, well, it's definitely a balance. We have some comedies and some dramas mm -hmm. and mystery and that kind of thing. It sounds like it's going to be a great season next year. We hope so. So if I were interested in buying tickets either for the... Do you sell season tickets? Absolutely. So yeah. if I were interested in buying tickets for the season or for an individual show, how would I go about doing that? Uh, you can call our box office and the information is on our website or you can purchase it from the website. We have a link okay. there and it takes you right to PayPal and you can purchase them right there. All right, there. and what is that website? It's qptheater.com. qptheater.com. Um, sounds like a great website. Well, thank you for being here, Donna. Thank you very much, Kevin, for having me. Thank you for, for sharing me. about uh, the Quantum Power players and everything they have going on. <laughs>